We bought an Escapod, and today we're going to show you why we think it's the best adventure trailer that money can buy. We want to introduce you to the newest member of the Bronco Nation family and fleet, and that is Charlie, our brand new Topo 2 from our friends over at Escapod. And this is one of the most epic adventure trailers that we've seen. Now, Bronco, as we all know, uh, can be an incredible adventure. It can take you on some awesome trails to some beautiful places, but it can also get you to the adventure just as, easy, just as easily as it can be the adventure. So whether that's a trailhead or a place to put your kayak in or an incredible campsite with something like this, this vehicle can do it all. So today we want to show you why we think it is the best adventure trailer money can buy, why we've loved it so much. We're going to show you the ins and outs of it and some of its creature comforts that you may not expect from something that looks like this. Now, as you're going to learn very quickly, there's a lot that goes into this trailer, so we are going to start on the exterior. Now, up here in front with towing, Bronco can easily tow this trailer. It's about 1,700 pounds dry, so well within Bronco's towing capacity, uh, and we opted for the optional fully articulating hitch. So that comprises of two pieces. You got this lower piece here that connects to the trailer, and then this that actually slides into your receiver on the vehicle, uh, whether it's a Bronco that you're towing with or another vehicle. But this allows you to, well, as the name says, fully articulate the trailer. So if you wanna go on some more intense terrain, some more rugged trails to get you to those far off places, this is gonna allow you to tow it over uneven surfaces safely without breaking anything or having the trailer pop right off of a standard ball hitch. So this is a great option. It does tow really nicely and I have found that it is a little bit easier to back up with this. You get some additional length here. Um, and so this is a great solution and a option we would highly recommend if you plan to take this thing anywhere off the beaten path. Now moving immediately aft from the hitch, you're going to find the tongue box. Now it is lockable and on gas assist struts so it stays open when you're rummaging around in here. And this is a great place to store uh, stuff you might need easily accessible, things that might get dirty, whether it's boots or gear or other stuff for the campsite. Uh, we have like a little pop-up changing station in here, um, kind of those camp mat rug things that you put outside of the trailer to keep down the dust we store in here. Now also up here, you're gonna find your propane tank, um, which powers the heater, of course, and the water heater. So that's stored up here outside of the cabin. Um, you can take it out, refill it, all that stuff. And then it uh, straps back in here so it stays secure when you're on the road. There's also an LED light up here, so if you're accessing the tongue box at night, uh, you'll be able to see. And then behind it, there are tracks with these movable clamps. Um, so if you do need to strap something down, tie something down, uh, you have four kind of tracks here to do that with, with adjustable loops um, on each track. Now, as we move down the side of the trailer, this is where you're gonna start to see just how off-road capable and ready this trailer really is. So as much as you could go to a regular campsite, this thing is willing to go almost anywhere your Bronco will. We see that all the way down the side with these rock rails, full metal, very sturdy ready to protect the fiberglass body from anything that you, well, not, maybe not anything, but a lot of things you might encounter on the trails. Also up here, you're gonna see these rock guards, which have more of that topo pattern on it. And this is to protect uh, this fiberglass shell from getting any nicks or rock chips from the tires on your vehicle that might kick up and hit this high impact area. Of course, these can come off and be swapped if they get damaged, but at the end of the day, you wanna protect this fiberglass shell. Um, and this does a great job of doing that and just adds a nice little black accent to the the front of your trailer. Moving on down the side, something new that they introduced with Topo 2 that was not an original Topo was one full uh, enclosed fiberglass shell that kind of housed everything in it. So you're not gonna see anything hanging off the side, no spare tires or propane, it's all enclosed in this unibody design, which is really nice and keeps everything contained and ins a lot of things insulated too if you're in colder climates. It comes in a variety of colors. We chose this sort of dark slate gray color and you have a few choices of door colors as well. We went with the red to match our red Bronco Nation Bronco. Um, the gray and red color scheme look phenomenal uh, and this red really complements the rapid red on our Bronco well. So that is why we went with it. They also offer it in a kind of a forest green color that matches our green Bronco perfectly. Uh, so maybe we need to swap that out or get another one or maybe one of you at home will get one of those. But nonetheless, you can customize it a little bit uh, and add some personalization and express yourself through the colors of the shell and the doors on your Topo too. You'll also notice the Topo pattern on the door and Escapod's branding here towards the front of the trailer. 
Now also down both sides of the trailer incorporated right into the rock rails are these little ledges, both uh, forward and aft of the door. And these serve as a great place to put your foot and step on if you need to access uh, something on the roof. Now we have the air conditioner uh, and we do have these Thule roof racks, roof rails. Uh, but if you wanted to option it with a rooftop tent, which you can get, these would be a great place to step on, get easy access up to the tent, pop it up and get it set up for camp or to bring it down. We don't really use these that much because we don't store anything on the roof but nonetheless, it's a great feature to have. Moving down the back of the trailer, uh, you have these lights, which I will show you the switch for on the inside, but there's one again on each side of the trailer to light up your camp area. And then you do have rock rail lights down here too, built into the rock rails to illuminate the underbody of the trailer, which looks really, really cool at night. Moving back, you have your fender flares and the, each side has these three cutouts, which I will get to in a minute, but they house um, or they kind of are the attachment point for a table that's built into the galley. On the driver's side or the left side, if you're looking forward of the trailer, you have your shore power connection. Of course, this thing can run fully off of solar and battery, but if you are running the generator full time or just wanna to top up the trailer while it's at home, you can plug it right into the side here and top up those lithium ion batteries, whether you have one as standard or the two that we optioned for. Here is just a standard kind of heat outlet. So this is where your heat's gonna come from your water heater um, or excess heat from your heater. Um, so that's just a air circulation thing. And then back here, you're gonna have the gray water dump um, for the water system, the sink actually, particularly um, in the galley. So this is where your gray water will dump out of. Of course, this doesn't have a black water tank because there's no toilet on the inside. Now from the factory, the Top O2 is ready to go off-road. We opted for BFG KO2s over here. And because the Top O2 shares the same bolt pattern with the Bronco, you can yourself customize the wheels. Now it does come with a standard wheel option from the factory, but because we've been working with Escapod, and 1552 we said hey if we send you the wheel that's the same one as on a red bronco can you put it on there and they said sure we'll try so we sent them the uh tra traverse hd wheels in black from 1552 and of course the same bolt pattern as the bronco so we just ordered two more and they fit right on there with no issues um so it matches the bronco keeps keeps it consistent we're a big fan of bfg tires not a paid promotion um so these tires and wheels are just as capable as the ones that tow it. Now, continuing with that off-road rugged capability theme, Escapod has a proprietary independent trailing suspension here for the left and the right wheels on the trailer. It is extremely beefy, probably almost overbuilt if that's such a thing, but it is ready to tackle anything you throw at this trailer. Uh, so you can see the quality really starts from the ground up. You can see just how robust the suspension is on each side. Again, there's no axle that goes across, um, so the wheels do travel independently of each other. Soft up the ride not only for the cab not that you'd be riding in it but to just kind of dampen uh, any impact for your items on the inside that you may encounter uh, terrain wise when going out to your campsite now once you get to camp unload and are all set up you want to make sure the trailer is not going to tip or tilt um, when you are set up at camp so Escapod is out of everything and included stabilizers on the left and the right side of the trailer now these are not levelers like you'd find in a full-size rv so they can't you know, they're not gonna support the entire weight of the vehicle um, and level it, but they are gonna drop down. There's two positions, one right here and another one down lower, um, depending on what kind of terrain you're on. And then you can use the included tool to come right in here and extend or retract the arms until you are happy with its footing. Stabilize the trailer. So if you do, you know, stand on the back here, the trailer's not gonna rock backwards. Now moving on to the inside of the Tapa 2 is where you're gonna first notice exceptional quality and really nice fit and finish. You have nice natural woods with a cabinetry up here. You have a light woven fabric material that surrounds the entire cabin, which makes it light, airy, bright, and makes the space feel much larger than it is. Looking at the bulkhead here, you have three cabinets up above. The doors on the left and the right swing towards the center, and the door uh, up here in the middle swings down. Lots of storage in here, whether it's clothes or toiletries or food or other stuff you might use when you're camping. Uh, these spaces are really nice um, when you are going on an extended adventure. They have these nice little latches too that pop out and twist to open. Now, one thing we would love to see is, uh, and it sounds minor, but when you're out camping, it is one of those things that are like, oh, I really wish I had a mirror. Now, I know it might sound dumb, but just because you're out camping doesn't mean you wanna look raggedy all the time. So it would be really cool if there's a mirror built in here on the backside of one of these cabinets, just so you can make sure that uh, 
you look presentable when you get out and walk around the campsite. Moving down a little bit, you have your main control panel here. Up on the top, you have your inverter switch, which I'll get into a little bit with the electrical system. You have this interior light, uh, which are on dimmers. You can see these LED strips above me. They kind of have an opaque uh, panel over them which uh, softens the light and it gives it a very kind of space capsule feel, which is cool. Down here, you have your exterior light switch, which we'll get to on the outside, and your rock rails light switch as well. Now, what's really cool is uh, this topo pattern, which you'll notice not only in the name, but throughout uh, little touches all around the trailer, is CNC'd into this panel. So you have uh, the acronyms for what these switches control right here, CNC'd in this topo pattern behind. In the center, you have your Cimmerine control panel, and this is a digital control panel. It's gonna show you things like your battery status, the charge, gonna show you how many hours of battery life you have remaining based on what you're using. Uh, and then if you scroll through the menus here, you're gonna see your time to charge, your voltage, the current that's being used, um, current, you have your water tank here. You can see we have 61% uh, full of a tank with about 12.7 gallons of the 21 gallon water tank. Um, temperatures on the interior, and then um, your kind of home screen again that gives you a nice brief overview. So this is really nice, it's customizable, and it also you can program it to go to sleep so it's not disturbing you in the night uh, with its lit up screen when you're trying to sleep. Uh, but again, this is kind of the center, the brain of your trailer. Moving over here, you do have another nice cabinet this is magnetic just a nice place you can put cords I find myself putting my phone here or the little trinkets that you may need during the night are easily accessible and then over here on the right you have um, your main battery disconnect and then your solar charge controller and your heater control which I will also get to in a little bit Moving to the roof of the trailer, you have your AC here. Now this AC is optional, it is not standard on the Topo 2, but we did opt for it. It's a Dometic AC that is mounted up on the roof, of course, and it is very powerful. If you need to cool your trailer down very quickly, this is a great way to do it. It is a pricier option, but if you live in a hot part of the country, we definitely recommend it. Now. If you're going to be running it a long time, you are gonna to wanna to hook up to shore power, which again, I'm gonna to get to in the electrical system, but it can run off the solar and the battery for a limited amount of time. So if it's getting to the evening and you just wanna chill your uh, trailer down, you know, for 30 to 45 minutes, it's perfect for that. And then once the temperatures drop and you crawl in, uh, you can open up the doors with the screens and uh, just get some fresh air in. Now, outside of the organizational stuff and moving into the creature comforts, when you first enter the trailer from the left or the right side, you have what Escapod has cleverly named the mudroom. Now, of course, it's not a mudroom like you'd find in a house, but it is a nice place. There's a little ledge here where you can sit, take off your shoes, uh, nice and neatly store them away in this cubby down here to make sure dirt's not getting all over your sleeping surface. Right above that, you have your uh, one of the vents for your heater, which again, we see that Topo 2 pattern and the two here uh, engraved into this metal cover signifying Topo 2, and that's where your heat's gonna come out in addition to the uh, heat ducts up here. And then above that, you have a nice little closet hanger space, or maybe you wanna hang your flannel or some of the merchandise that you can buy on the BroncoNation.com gear store. Uh, with a little hook up here, there's a hat hook here um, but again they're on both sides two hooks so you can hang a coat a jacket a rain jacket something that you want easily accessible if you have to get up in the middle of the night um, and don't want to rummage around for it's nice uh, and neat organized here in the mudroom. Again, both on the left and the right side. Some other little cubbies for storage. You have CNC'd into this or cut out of this headboard uh, pockets there. And then up here at the very top, you have the coordinates of Escapod with the outline of the state of Utah. And then Escapod's logo with the Topo 2 insignia over there on the left-hand side. Now moving down to the sleeping surface, this features a full queen-size bed. Yes, not a camper queen, but a full-size queen, meaning you, to, you can go to Target, buy a regular set of queen sheets, and they will fit on here no problem. It is a memory foam-like mattress, and after spending multiple nights in here, I can attest that it is extremely, extremely comfortable. Now, as we move up toward the headboard of the bed, uh, you're gonna notice these two little nightstand-like things on the left and the right side. Now, this is a great place for storage and charging your devices, uh, running off the lithium-ion batteries that this trailer features. First off, right in here, you have a little bit of a cutout, which is perfect to put a water bottle. So if you're like me and you need water going to bed and in the middle of the night, this is a great place to put a water bottle. It can fit a full-size hydro flask, which is really nice. And then right above it, you have a wireless charging pad. So if you have a wireless charging-enabled phone, 
you can simply plop it down on either side and charge your device. But if you don't or you don't want a wireless charge because you're afraid of bumping it, right above there you do have two USB ports on each side. Now these are USB-A, so this can charge your iPhone, your Android, your iPads, any of that stuff. Great place to plug in uh, conveniently right next to the headboard. Down below this you do have another little storage area if you want to put a book or something down there um, that you read at night. That's a great place to keep it. And then again, you'll notice that this nice woven fabric goes all the way around uh, the front of this trailer and just really makes it feel like you're in a very premium space because you are. Now, if we move these pillows out of the way, we're going to reveal another clever storage solution that Escobot has built into the Topo 2. Behind the headboard, you will find a storage compartment. Now, it's not super deep, but it is pretty tall and decently wide, and we found it a great place to store camp chairs. Um, so it's kind of per the perfect size. We have three camp chairs in here right now, and they fit no problem. You probably could put one more in here, but it's kind of the perfect place to store an item of this size. Again, nice wood materials throughout. You got hinges so they fold down and then when it's not opened, it makes a nice headboard to lean up against uh, if you're sitting up in bed. And again, just completes the nice bright airy look of the whole cabin. Now, if you're like me and love looking at the stars and kind of nerd out about space, you're really gonna love this feature, which is their stargazer window. Now, this is perfectly placed right above the headboard, so when you're laying in bed and you're in a dark place, you can look through it and see uh, the gorgeous night sky. Now, you will see five latches around here and two struts, so if you wanna let air in during the night, you can simply unlock all of these and open the window um, to let air in. But if you don't wanna get bugs or you don't wanna get light, Escapod is cleverly built in magnets all the way around the frame of this window just for that. So first off, we have this really cool magnetic bug net or bug screen, um, as you can call it. It's the perfect size to fit this window. Um, so that way you can open it up, let air flow in uh, without getting any bugs in. But if you don't wanna get any light, and don't wanna be woken up at 6 a.m. when the sun rises, there's a blackout shade. This is also magnetic and it magnetizes to um, this bug screen. Um, so you can have both and uh, they store nicely, fold up, but this magnetizes up here and blocks out all the light. Uh, and then this really becomes like a noise canceling headphone with an eye mask on, cause you can't see anything and you can't hear anything. Uh, so a very cozy insulated place to sleep. Now the light and bug protection doesn't just stop up there at the Stargazer. It also can extend to these doors. Uh, to cover this window, you have another magnetic shade that is perfectly cut to fit the shape of the window, both on the left and the right side. But if you wanna leave the doors open while you're camping and let some fresh air in, you also have these awesome magnetic bug screens that roll down and then magnetize into place, both on the left and the right side. It's easier to do, of course, if you're in the trailer, but we're gonna make it work out here. And then you have full 360 bug protection with plenty of ventilation. Now, if you have devices that need a little bit more juice than a USB port up on the headboard, you do have an outlet, a regular house style 110 outlet here uh, that is powered with the inverter. So it is a 2000 watt inverter, as I mentioned, you just flip the switch on to use it. Then you can charge your radios, your laptop, your drones. Starlink, we use Starlink out here, we plug Starlink into that. So anything that would require a regular 110 household outlet is you can plug in right here on the left side of the trailer. Now, if you do wanna go fully off the grid, the Topo 2 is ready to take you there. They have a 140 watt solar panel that mounts to the back hatch of the trailer, the galleys underneath it, which we'll get to in just a minute. But this is really nice, it works really well. And one cool feature is that if you turn all these latches, there's six of, three of them in total, sorry, around here, you can actually unplug the solar panel and remove it entirely from the back of the trailer. So if you get to a point in the day where the sun is not at a perfect angle, you can take this off, pop out these kickstands, and with an extension cord you can buy online, you can then set up the solar panel for optimal solar charging sun reflection, all that fun stuff. Um, it plugs in right here, so when you're on the road, it's charging um, at all times. But again, if you get to your campsite and you park in a more shady area, you can pop this off, set it up, and charge as long as there's sunlight. Now to probably my favorite part of the Escapod Topo 2 is the galley. Now you have this massive rear hatch on gas assist struts and some pretty beefy hinges here, which reveals your beautiful galley. 
Now there's a lot packed into here. Uh, everything is certainly not what it seems. And we're gonna start up here on the bulkhead or the uh, or the forwardmost section of the galley. Now, we've talked a little bit about seeing the topo design uh, throughout the trailer, both on the interior and the exterior, but our friends at Escapod were kind enough to CNC our very own Bronco Nation logo right into the cutting board. Nice personalized touch for us. We really appreciate it and we think it looks really cool. And there's no mistaking whose trailer this is it, This is if it gets stolen, but none of you try. Um, but this is a magnetic cutting board. Magnetizes, pops out of here, gives a great surface to prep and prepare your food. And behind it reveals uh, this surface, which houses three of these knives. Again, magnetic, which is really nice uh, and ready to, ready to get cooking. The magnetic theme continues. This is actually a panel that magnetizes and kind of pops out if you can see. And behind it is where you're going to find a lot of the electrical systems, uh, the water systems, heaters, stuff like that, um, that kind of run the trailer. So they didn't want to have any bolts or finicky latches um, to access it. They wanted to make it simple. So this is just an easy magnetic thing that pops out and reveals all the technology behind it. Now getting into the water system, you do have a great uh, built-in sink here in the galley with a permanently upright faucet, but you also have a shower. Now, of course, you're probably like, where are you gonna fit a shower? This is your shower. So this piece is the, uh, this is what the shower head kind of mounts in. It actually magnetizes to the side of the trailer, right? You can find the spot right there. Then shower head fits in like so. And this, the other end of the shower head, actually inserts into the quick connect port right here at the, uh, the bulkhead of the galley. So once your shower head is plugged in, you can use the temp temperature control. It does have a hot water heater. And then you can take your nice hot shower at the campsite out in nature. So no matter what adventure you're on, you can make sure you go to bed clean using the 21 gallon water tank inside the Topo 2. Now, after you've taken a nice hot shower, you're ready to cook dinner and the Topo 2 is ready for you as well. Down here, you have this cleverly hidden slide out propane two burner stove, again, controlled by the propane that we looked at up in the tongue box, electronic lighter, which is nice. And then below it, you have even more storage where you can include things like sponges, utensils, spatulas, spoons, any kitchen tool you might need. We even have a handy dandy grater. So in case you need to grate some nice fresh Parmesan for your pasta, uh, you can do that too. So all the fun things, all of these are actually, I think linked in Escapod's uh, Amazon marketplace. Again, we don't get a cut of that, but if you're wondering how to stock your Topo too, head over there and they'll tell you. Pushing this back in and moving on up this side of the trailer, you have this little nice pop out, which is a great place uh, to store sponges and dish soap. You see this feature in a lot of residential homes actually, so it's cool that it's made its way over here on some nice hinges, soft clothes. Look at that, how fancy. And then right above it, you do have your sink. Great water pressure that dumps right out of your uh, gray water dump on uh, that side of the trailer that we looked at. Nice stainless steel countertops, easy to wipe off, easy to keep clean. And then above this, uh, I was talking about those little indentations, those little latch points on the fender flares. There's one on each side, and that is where this goes because this unlatches, folds down. Not only does it reveal a ton of customizable storage, but it also reveals this table, which we will get to in just a moment. I'm gonna place it over here. So over here, we have our jet boil and our coffee making system. We have our coffee and cups up here, reusable pots and pans. We got a little tub, plates, whatever you wanna put back here, you can probably fit. And what's really nice is it has these uh, little dividers and these slots. You can kind of customize it, move them around and adjust it to whatever your needs are. And these shelves themselves also slide out. So you have a taller item that you want to stick in here. You can take both of those out. Now, if you pull all of this out, you're going to notice another magnetic access panel like we saw over here that uh, makes some of the other technology and features and equipment inside the trailer a little bit more accessible. If you do need to perform uh, repairs on them, or check something out, see what's going on. You just slide these out, remove that magnetic panel and you have easy access to the components inside. But on the passenger side, the far right side of your trailer in the galley, you're gonna see two switches. The top one is for the LED light, which is up here in the hatch. You have white, which provides 
obviously great white light. And then you also have red. Now this comes from uh, mostly shipping and uh, or large ships or boats where at night you need to still, you know, you don't want your eyes to adjust to the bright, harsh light. So the red allows your eyes um, to still be able to see in the darkness while still having an illuminated surface. So nice, clever, dual function light here, both white and red operated by this toggle switch over here. Then right below that you have your switch for your water pump as you heard that come on uh, when I operated the sink and the shower, but that is conveniently located here on the right side of the galley. And then last but certainly not least, we have our slide out ARB fridge freezer. Now this is an upgrade, it comes standard with a Yeti cooler, which we also sell on the bronconation.com gear shop, go shop it. Um, but we option for the ARB fridge freezer that plugs in, again, it runs off the battery and solar. So if you are out camping for an extended period of time and uh, want to keep perishable items, fruits, veggies, meats, popsicles, ice cream, drinks, any of that, you can put right in here. It slides out nicely on this little slide. And then what's really great, if you need to take it out and hook it up elsewhere, there is an extension cord that can plug uh, the fridge freezer into a regular wall outlet. So if you wanna take it out because you're going off-roading all day, you wanna leave the trailer at the campsite, this could run off of the Bronco's power. You could put this in your cargo area, plug the fridge freezer in and away you go. So just a nice little feature there, um, dual purpose, but, We've used it on every trip we've taken with this and it is worth every penny, I'll tell you that much. Okay, now as I mentioned, if you pull all that stuff out, pull this magnetic panel out, you're going to find the core of your electrical system that powers the trailer. Now we opted for two 100 amp hour lithium ion batteries, 12 volt batteries. It does come standard with one, but you can upgrade to the two, which we've done, and we do not regret that choice whatsoever. We highly recommend it, especially if you're gonna be running uh, the fridge freezer and using the air conditioner at all while fully off the grid, not plugged into shore power. Um, so the upgrade to the second battery was well worth it. And again, it's easy to access if you do need to make any repairs or adjustments to the battery and electrical system. While you're on the trail, you can do it by easily removing this panel, and then you have clear access to the nicely labeled and organized electrical system housed uh, right there. Now, as I showed you this table that was mounted in front of the storage area in the galley or the cabinet, um, this does fit into these three little cutouts on either fender flare. So whether you want to mount it on the left or the right side, you can certainly do that. Um, it does have this little screw here, knob that you unscrew, which then drops um, the leg of the table down as well as the support. So the support folds down here. This component, it's hard to do with one person on camera, but we're gonna try. This slides down, this little support slides in there. And then there's these two knobs that provide tension to the leg, um, which allow you to adjust it for height. So obviously you can see, uh, isn't quite level here, but if we take this, we keep a carabiner in here to kind of lock the stabilizer in place, but you can lift it up, loosen the tension, drop the leg down, tighten these back up. Then you're ready to serve your feast on the either side of the trailer. Now, right above here is where your fresh water uh, fill is going to be, 21 gallon tank, gravity fed. So you can just put whatever water source you are going to be using right into here, fill up your 21 gallon water tank and you are set to go off the grid for as long as 21 gallons is gonna last you. Depends how gross you are. How many times a day do you shower? Do you shower at all? It's gonna be up to you, but as long or as little as you need. Now, one thing that is really important to remember when you're camping is protection, sun protection. And this Escapod offers two different ways to protect you from the sun. Now, there are standard options and there are upgraded awning options. We upgraded our awnings, uh, and I'm gonna talk about this one first. This is a 180 degree Darchi, or Darche, if you're French, awning that collapses into this nice uh, pack here, and then opens up for the full length of the trailer with these nice drop down legs to keep it sturdy, and then straps as well to hold it in place. So it offers a ton of protection from the sun, a great place to put your table and to and sit and enjoy the views wherever you may be camping. Uh, but we wanted not one option, but two. So let's hop to the other side and look at that awning as well. Now, if that's not enough for you, we have this awning too. This one is a lot 
wider, so you're gonna have a lot more real estate under here to sit, but it doesn't go the full length of the trailer like the other one does. And this one is a Rome trailer. Now, of course, as you probably all know, or maybe you don't, all Rome products are now available on the BroncoNation.com gear store. So whether it's this awning, a rooftop tent, or any myriad of their rugged cases, those are now available. So if you click the link in the bio after, click the link in the description after the video, you can go down there and shop all of that. But this is a Rome awning. It's uh, nice, sturdy, square. It goes out quite a ways. And if you'd like, uh, they have an optional, optional kind of additional curtain that turns us into like a little annex room. So uh, whether you want privacy, protection from bugs and the elements, uh, they have nice awnings that go, or nice walls kind of that go around this awning. Again, available at the Bronco Nation. Um, so it provides you two really nice different options when it comes to sun protection. Well, covered a lot of information there, but we hope you learned a little bit uh, about this Topo 2. We certainly love it. And if you are a Escapod owner or want to learn more about Escapod, head over to the link in our description uh, to find pricing information, both on the original Topo and the Topo 2, like you see behind me. You can make your reservation, place your deposit and get in line because these things are a hot commodity and there is a waiting list. Now, pricing for this one starts right around $40,000. And when you add options, you can get into the mid to high 40s. This one is pretty well equipped as you see it here. So just keep that in mind uh, and prices will change based on the different features and accessories that you add. We have loved each and every mile we have had our Escapod for. This is not a paid promotion. We did buy this thing uh, and it's a great trailer. The build quality is great. The team at Escapod is world-class and working with the people there um, has been phenomenal each and every step of the journey. And we can't recommend this product enough. And that is why we think it is the best adventure trailer that money can buy. If you wanna see this Escapod, come to one of our events. It is going to be at a multitude of Bronco Nation events in the coming months and uh, as the years go on. So come check it out for yourself. Walk around, get some hands-on time. And of course, if this is something you're interested in, you can head over to Escapod. Pod's website. If you're not already, make sure you join the Bronco Nation for our exclusive and ever-growing list of member benefits. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the big red button down below. Leave us a like, leave us a comment. What do you think of this trailer? Do you want more Escapod content? Or you're like, no, give me more Bronco content. Let us know because we love hearing from you guys most of the time. I'm just kidding. We do. As always, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, we'll see you out on the trail. Stay safe. Bye guys.